Hey guys, welcome to another episode of H Talks Comics, Films and Combat Sports. Back onto um, the fight last night, but not in a way that you'd expect. So, I think that we, and by we, I mean all you guys, because you know I've got Tyson Fury up here. But do we need to put some more respect on Tyson Fury's name? Basically, I'm saying that because the way that Deontay Wilder KO'd, not TKO'd, KO, one punch right over the top, devastatingly knocked out the, but they don't know, Dominic Brazil. Like the way he did that, and the fact is, other people compare AJ because AJ took seven rounds, but then the flip argument to that is AJ took three rounds, I believe, to TKO. If I remember correctly, TKO Eric Molina, whereas Wilder took nine, I think took nine. So you can't really use that as the gauge. But what you can use as a gauge is the devastating power of Deontay Wilder. And the thing is, if you watch that fight back with um, Fury, he only took a few shots. But the two main shots he took, obviously, dropped him. Especially in the, is it the 11th or 12th? No, it was 12th, wasn't it? The actual 12th round. The one which um, he got the... Some people say elongated, some people say normal, whoever. But he got he got the uh, tin can and made it up just in time. But you guys got to think, Tyson Fury completely, let's be honest, outboxed Wilder. So if you give Wilder the two rounds for that, and I think I can't remember what now off the top of my head, but I think maybe another round. This is the let's be fair, and let's just say he was nine and three. That's still like that's a win. Tyson Fury should have a win, at least nine and three, maybe ten and two. Out of 12 rounds, he won of over 80-85% of those rounds. Like, come on, Tyson Fury, his footwork is beautiful, it's beautiful to watch. Like, if you're a boxing connoisseur, like, I like to watch those guys. I love watching Floyd, I like watching Billy Joe. Um, it's not about what they do personally, I don't care. Like, this is in the ring I'm on about. If you want to do a personal video, do a personal video. But in terms of in the ring, beautiful to watch. Billy Joe, Tyson Fury, Floyd Mayweather. Um, she wrote Elena back in the day. Tyson Fury's footwork, oh my gosh, and the fact is, he took a little bit of um, random punishment throughout the fight with Wilder, he took some shots here and there, and obviously his chin must be immense, he got back up twice, twice, and look at Dominic Brazil, like when Tyson Fury, if you remember the 12th round, he got back up and then started moving around, like literally, he, he was discombobulated and he recombobulated, I'm sure that's not a word, but recombobulated his brain and his mind and his senses within a matter of minutes like so this fight even though Dante Wilder killed Brazil it's just beating up Tyson Fury because I think now I always thought he'd beat both of them I honestly always thought he'd beat AJ and Wilder I don't know if his management thought that or if he has wanted the money and like I said in another fight of course who wouldn't the only thing that's annoying is he's going to easily demolish um, Schwartz um, I don't know what Schwartz's chin's like I know he fought Gashi and he that weird disqualification thing so I don't know if he'll KO him, but he'll demolish him, like, probably win all 12 rounds. Like, as you said, right now, he'll probably win at least 11 rounds, probably all 12. But we want to see Fury, because let's be honest, I think Fury, he's, well, he's basically outboxed Wilder once, and that was on on the back of wins against Pianata and Safiri. Pianata and Safiri, I don't know where they are in the division right now. They probably lost the last three since. Like, oh. So you so you got to, that means put respect on Tyson Fury's name. He faced those two absolute journeymen, the level of Matt Skelton from Bedford and the level of bloody I don't even know. I was about to say that guy Tab or his name someone Tab, but literally literally that level. I mean he goes on and faces Wilder, a Wilder that's now devastatingly KO'd Brazil. So anything, guess whose stock goes up? Tyson Fury's. Obviously Wilder goes up as well. But Tyson Fury, like, he's, he's the real deal, guys. Like, I've been saying this for ages. If you watch my other videos, you always saw me saying he's number one. I still believe that. I honestly would put money on him beating AJ and Wilder just because I think he'll outbox both. AJ, I, weirdly, it's, it's a stars clash. I actually give him a better chance against uh, Fury because obviously he's got the amateur boxing pedigree and he might put a bit of pressure on him and he might get some sustained, sustained pressure. But even then, he hasn't got a one punch KO. Power, but like the one punch, obviously got killed power, but a one punch, devastatingly destructive power that Wilder's got. So then, oh, it's going to be, that's why we want the fights, let's be honest, guys, that's why we want those three fights, because you could give Wilder a decent chance against AJ, you could give AJ a good chance against Fury, but for me, Fury beats them both, honestly, Fury beats them both. Like, they watch obviously chances, but completely outboxes them day and night, and I'm not some Fury bum lick or anything, but please tell me what you guys have seen 
in any of AJ or Wilder's fights, even that KO last night, which, which says to you, yeah, they've, they've improved sufficiently to take on a boxing connoisseur. I don't know how Fury didn't like make it to the Olympics. Maybe he just um, quit it, quit early or something because you'd have to think he would have got a gold medal as well. Like, I'm being serious. Tyson Fury, man, he's not to be played with. I don't think people put the respect on him. I don't understand it. Like Maybe because he doesn't get the KOs or because Wilder gets all the KOs and AJ gets quite a lot of KOs as well or TKOs. But Fury, mate, in terms of boxing connoisseur, like, you've got to enjoy his footwork. Like, even Billy Joe saw him the other day, he reminded me of like a mini Tyson Fury. Oh, Tyson Fury, for me, one, if, if he chooses to fight those guys, he doesn't need to. He's going to get 100 mil, 100 million dollars, whatever it is, it looks like, in terms of um, his ESPN top rank deal. He could face another four bums, make the money, ride off. I don't think he will. I think he'll fight two more guys who are of uh, average standard, and I think he'll fight Wilder. Or uh, AJ, but I think he'll. I think he's clever. I think AJ or Wilder, one of them, will get, be a unified undisputed champion, and then Fury will come in and say, "I'm the new champion. I've just beat these other three guys who are reputable, and take it on." That's what that's what I do. I don't see him. What's the point him fighting Dillian White now? He might as well wait unless they give the diamond, diamond uh, W. WBC belt, but now I want to see it, man. I want to see it. I'm so excited for that. Hope you guys are too. But yeah, let me know. Are you guys um same as me and thinking Tyson Fury is now definitely the number one heavyweight? And I hope you like my reasoning for it as well. Cheers, guys.